well, it's really been going on for a couple of years where I just notice things shining on the footpath um, and I call them jewels. Is I'm experimenting a lot more. I'm much less precious about what I do. I'm much less, um, yeah, I'm experimenting. I'm happy to experiment, yeah. Mm. So I've freed up since I used to work work for for um, a, sa a salary and um, I'm just playing. Really um, I love working with wood and um, and I love working with what happen I love what happens to burnt wood so I kind of get involved in burning the wood but let nature take, take its courses. I've found that as I've learnt to go more slowly in every way and this started when I was working. So I just, that thing of when you're walking along fast to work, you're actually like, you're sort of like this in this tension, walking fast to work, and then you go, hang on, do you, is it okay? You know, it's okay if you just take an extra five minutes and just, and then you start noticing things. I have an ultimate, very significant concern for how much waste there is, you know, for the taking here, yeah. but there, I'll throw it and see how, how it survives, you know, if bits break off, then they're supposed to come off. And then I um, start scraping back and polishing to kind of leave this beautiful marks. And in this case, it was a bit of a play, another play. I had started to pick up bottle tops and screws, um, bits of jewellery, uh, just any little, particularly metal objects. Um, and I just thought I want, you know, I started to think I could drill holes and embed them within to make them more like jewels, I guess. But um, I don't know, it was just another, it's another play. But um, you, you kind of keep... You've got this beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. So you're preserving it. I mean, you could. There's plenty of wood that's beautiful and can be become something else in nature. But in this case, I've taken this one because I love trees. I love wood. Discoveries only happen when you're playing and when you're prepared to make mistakes. And we we're taught not to make mistakes. I used to. Um, as a kid, get an exercise book for you know for a class, and if I made a mistake on the first page, I'd have to rip it out. That kind of philosophy. I think um, I think it's nice to learn that it doesn't matter to make mistakes. This is another. Now this, so this is um, a bowl that was found down at South East Gippsland, and it's I've burnt that and then waxed it. But it was, all the imagery was based on people and things I know. So it's all about, domestic's not really the right word, but it's about what's around me, always. Anyway, there's a connection, it's a very conventional art show, but I was determined to get into it. But in this image here, is there's this group of people, and it's actually, a, from a cutout, cut out from a photocopy of an image of underneath these um, faces. The faces have been changed ever so slightly and they're not very clear, but uh, we've got Pascal and her two daughters in that crowd. I can do artwork that's sort of for other people. I can play the game a bit, but, um, but I don't want to really, yeah. And things that, things that, to me, things that you have a connection with are much more beautiful than, than if you don't. I think most of my stuff, I'm really proud of most of my stuff because it's, well, for me, it's got real meaning. And, um, yeah. And I can't, I can't do anything else, really.